What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Queen Studios Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Jet Power Optimus Prime vs Megatron Diorama. What a mouthful. So this is non-scaled uh, and it's priced here at specfiction.com and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can use my referral link. I believe it gets you 20 bucks off and earns me a tiny bit of referral money or something like that. Uh, but uh, $32.49, so I've seen it at other places priced even higher at like $3,500, but he has it priced here, and that's the full pay. I believe deposits much more, $50 more. So yeah, you can always save it about $50, bucks. plus I know if you do like PayPal gift or Venmo, you can also save an additional 3% with Spec Fiction. But here it is, let's check this bad boy out. So this is quite an epic piece very dynamic crazy big so transformers 2 is my least favorite of all the transformer movies my biggest problem with it is the final battle was so short and i just i mean when optimus got his jet power i mean yeah it was really cool like one minute fight but i don't like a one minute fight i would have preferred like a 10 minute fight or something, but wait, so, something I wanted. So here you can see next to a human. So it is an actually really big piece. It's 102 centimeters, which comes out to like 40 something inches, 70 centimeters wide and deep, like the diorama of the base. So quite a big overall piece and definitely a showstopper. Like when someone sees this piece in your collection, they're gonna be super wowed by this. They're gonna be like, holy crap. I mean, the fact you get a Jet Power Optimus, I mean, if you think about Prime 1's original one, it goes for three to $5,000 now. A Megatron, which usually costs two to 3000 from Prime 1. Granted, they're not the same scale, not as big, but the fact you're getting those two in a dynamic action pose, you know, with the whole desert-themed base is pretty darn epic. So yeah, you can see here the rough size next to a person's hand. So I would probably peg this as a three zero size. You know, so imagine if you bought two three zeros, formed it into a diorama on a base. That's kind of how I figure it. You know, so it's probably about 30% or 40% smaller than a Prime 1 Optimus. There's so much going on here. It's like, I'm sure... In pictures, it's kind of hard to tell what the heck you're even looking at because there's just so much. But I think in person, this will be absolutely phenomenal. You know, I would dare say this could definitely be a grail in person. And it does have, let's see, Megatron has four LEDs, two red eyes, a light up blue light underneath a pair of vents in the back. And in his hand, Optimus has LED in his eyes. So, yeah, overall, this is a super impressive piece. We do not, I don't see a 388 edition size, so quite low as well. So, for me personally, I do like this a lot. And in a normal scenario, I would probably buy this. The problem with me in buying this is, A, it doesn't scale with Prime 1. I want all my Transformers to scale. I mean, the only one that doesn't scale as well is my... Freaking Grimlock, although I do have that displayed lower, not next to all my Transformers. And this wouldn't scale with that as well, obviously. Grimlock is even a smaller scale than this, you know, because that Optimus is tiny. So, this doesn't scale with anything. This is more of a one-off piece and probably something you want to have displayed separately than if you have Prime 1 Transformers just because it won't scale well. You know, not, I am the type of person where I like to have my statues scaled correctly. If they don't scale good, it bugs me. So that's one reason I personally will pass on this. Uh, second, I have no space. Uh, then there's the question of, you know, what's better, this or Prime 1's most recent Jetwing? So Jetwing is a few hundred dollars more. We're talking $3,700 versus $33. So, a few hundred dollars more. And this one also is 41 inches tall. So, it's about the same height. Uh, it is wider and almost the same depth. So, it's 
almost a similar sized piece, although this is going to be thicker and girthier because of Optimus's just general size. But me personally, I like this better. Uh, if I am going to get another Transformer piece, this is the one I'm getting. And I still am highly, highly considering this. I have been thinking up ways I can potentially get this. And I've come to the conclusion that if I want this, and I want, let's say, the Dark Side of the Moon Megatron, which I also do want, I'd have to sell off my MK9, lower Megatron and Optimus where MK9 is, and also lower my freaking Samurai Transformer, and then move, like, yeah, let me show you real quickly. Yeah, so basically, if I wanted to get Jetwing Optimus, first off, I could never sell that, ever. I have to have that Optimus always. But if I was to move Ironhide onto this display, like move Sentinel Prime down, so those three right there, Bumblebee in the corner, I would have a big enough space for that giant one. In addition, I'd have space for the Megatron, which is also a little bit bigger than that. So I could move Shockwave slightly over for Dark Side of the Move Megatron, Jetwing Optimus, Bumblebee. So it's just, you know, five in total there instead of six. And then it'd be the three Autobots, Sentinel Prime, Optimus, and at the corner would be Lockdown. So we'd have to move him, download there, or potentially do them over there and him down here so he's more part of the transformers like next to him do optimus and megatron my old ones down low however megatron is 32 inches tall like he will fit but he's also back in his base so i just worry i might not be able to see his face that good i'd have to remove the lower wood i'd have to test it out i mean i know he can be displayed without his base but i would never want to do that so i just have to test optimus would be fine because he's only 28 inches but again, I could just buy just the new Optimus. I would love to get Queen's Bumblebee bust. Oh, that thing is so sick looking. But it is so big. That thing will not fit pretty much <laughs> anywhere in this room. But that is one way I think I could get Jetwing is simply by removing him and moving him and moving that out. Then we can fit it right there and it's as big as Shockwave. So, I do love the Queen Studios one, but obviously it's not going to fit in this dis collection. Uh, you know, I think if you don't have any Transformers and you just want one Transformer piece, Queen's is the one to get. Because you get Optimus and Megatron giant diorama. That is sick. So that is the best standalone Transformer statue, hands down. Just get that. I Me mean, personally, since I've collected so many of these... You know, it just doesn't go with my collection. But for any of you out there who just want one Transformers, like you just want one to represent the whole series, that's the one to get. I highly recommend it at that price. I do think the price is fair. And of course, the quality is going to be fantastic. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a very epic, epic piece. Just won't work for me. But I'm still considering the Prime 1 one because I do think it's going to be as good as Shockwave. And Shockwave is one of my favorite statues. And, you know, considering the price, it's actually not too bad. I mean, it is more than I paid for Shockwave. But, you know, considering the silicone bust these days go for $4,000, $5,000, $6,000 is what Doctor Strange is going to be. So, I think Optimus is much cooler than a, any silicone bust out there. As cool as silicones are, they're not as cool as, like, that Optimus. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get that Optimus eventually. It's just a matter of, can I sacrifice MK9? Which, honestly, wouldn't even pay for Optimus. I can maybe sell that all for $2,000 to $2,500. <laughs> wouldn't even cover them. Anyways, folks, that is it for today. So we should be getting MRC Jiren versus Goku and Vegeta possibly on Monday or tomorrow or today. Who knows? It's in customs right now. But I'll be getting it very, very soon. I just got shipping notice. Well, I checked my Prime 1 account and it says partially paying for Aloy. So Aloy and Jin Sakai are shipping. So that means all my video game statues are actually shipping now, which is so cool. Because those are my favorite, like, one four scale statues right now. 
So that is really epic. Hopefully we could get all the Lord of the Rings to start shipping. So we could just, you know, we're getting so close to just perfecting my collection. And I'm loving it. Anyways, folks, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts below. If you're buying statues, use the links below. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.